Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing an Olight flashlight. This is the S10R Baton 3. So this is a USB rechargeable. Uh, 600 lumen flashlight. You may have seen some of my other reviews on the Olight flashlights. These guys make really nice flashlights. Definitely worth a look at. So I'm gonna get out of the box. I'm gonna show you why it's cool. I'm gonna show you what it comes with and then we'll get it outside and I'll show you how bright it gets. Okay guys, so here's the S10R Baton 3. This is the 600 lumen and as soon as you open the box you get this read me. Thank you. And what it is is basically it's a little disclaimer that tells you that you have on the inside of the butt cap, you have this yellow disc, and that's gonna protect the battery from draining while it's in storage. So you just take that out, put it back on, and then you'll be able to turn on your flashlight. So, kind of nice to have that. Put that off to the side. Let's see what else it comes with. You have your Olight user's manual for the S10R3 baton. It tells you right here your uh, lumen. So on turbo, it's 600 lumen. Regular is on high is 300, medium is 120, low is 12, and moonlight is 0.5. And then it gives you your time limit. So you have an hour and a half on turbo, 60 minutes on high, 160 minutes on medium, 33 minutes, and then 15 days on moonlight. Olight recommended outdoor lights for 2016. So here's all their brochure. There's their H1 Nova. This is a cool headlight. I'm hoping to get my hands on this one here soon. 500 lumen headlamp on a single CR123 battery. So that's kind of cool. Plus there's a little brochure about all the other lights that Olight offers. I like when there's a brochure, it builds excitement in the brand. On the inside here, you have your wrist tether. So I'll get that out. There's your wrist tether right here. And like all other Olights, you have this like needle and thread kind of a scenario for the butt cap because there's no way in heck you're gonna get that little tether through here without this. So you kind of just feed it through and then there it is, and you can kind of just lock this bad boy down, feed this through here. Take that off because you don't need it anymore, and then boom. Now your wrist tether is in place, and you're good to go. I don't necessarily use wrist tethers, but I'll leave it on just for the sake of this video. And here's your little needle. Definitely want to make sure you keep this, just in case you ever want to take this thing off but you ever want to put it back on you're gonna need this little bad boy right here here's your micro USB here's your micro USB to USB charging cable and then here's what's really cool and I'm pretty excited about this is on the inside here you have your dock so bottom side suction cups and then you have your outlet right here so what you would do is you plug this thing in just like so and you plug that into a USB port, and then you have this awesome dock that sits on your desk that's Olight branded. You also have an extended out. And I'm gonna plug it in just so you can see what this thing, how cool this thing is. So as it's plugged in, you can see the little power light lighting up right there, green. Olight, because it's rechargeable, it's magnet. Plug it in just like that, and you let it charge. So lower this a little bit just so you can see it. There's a little red light letting you know that this thing is charging as it's sitting right here on the dock. Magnetized. So it's not going anywhere. Gets it centered, it starts charging. Put it on the desk, and now you have your, your charging dock ready to go whenever you need it. All right, guys, so I'm at the park cross street from my house, and I have the S10 Baton 3. And I'm just going to turn it on. This is on low. I'll put it on um, moonlight. Let me turn it off. There's moonlight. Not very bright, but bright enough to read with. Turn it off. Turn it back on again. Then you hold it. There's your low, medium, high. Pretty nice beam throw. Not bad for a little tiny flashlight. This thing fits in the palm of your hand. It's small. Turn it off. Back on again. I'm just going to light up this tree right here. And 
Turn on low, medium high, low. So low you can't really see it that good. Medium is pretty good. And then you push it again, it goes into high. USB rechargeable, and I'm just going to light up this tree. There's That was low, this is medium now. And then we're going to turn on high. High is super bright. I mean, you can just see this thing. That's how big it is. It's nothing. Alright, so I'm going to walk over to this tree right here. And I have the S10R Baton 3. I'm going to put it on, that was on high. So there's low. Low is low, you know, it's not terribly bright, but there's medium. And you push it again, it goes into high. Crazy bright. Take a few steps back just so you can see it. Push it again. Turns it off. So I'm pushing hold it. It goes into low. Low you can't really see, especially on camera, but medium. You can easily see medium. Medium's good and bright. You push it again, it goes into high. And that's high. I mean, I'll take a few steps in just so you can kind of get an idea, but high is plenty bright. And then it also has strobe if you double chat, uh, triple tap. Push it again, turns it off. All right, guys, so another cool thing about this flashlight right here is that the butt cap is magnetic. So you can stick it to the side of a, anything metal, and it will just stay put. And it's got a pretty strong magnet, too, so it's definitely not going to go anywhere. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's my review of the S10R Baton 3. There you go. Look how tiny this thing is. This thing just disappears in my hand. 600 lumens, has a little clip that is removable. Awesome little flashlight. So if you like my review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box down below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. Another way to help support is to click on that i button right up here. When you do that, you could donate any number of dollars and that's going to help me produce higher quality content to give back to you. If you guys have any questions or comments about the S10R Baton 3, Leave them down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's a like button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up for me, and subscribe. Here's a subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on here at Trailer Mountain's YouTube channel. Best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website. When you go there in the lower right-hand corner, you're going to see a little pop-up that shows up where you can put in your email address, then click Submit. When you do that, you're going to have access to my website, as well as some exclusive content that's only on my site that's not on my YouTube channel. So it's the best way to stay connected on everything that I'm working on here at TrailerMountain.com. On a side note, we're also raising money for a great charity, great cause called Big City Mountaineers and the Summit for Someone program. So when you click on this picture up here, it's going to take you to a website where you can make a tax-deductible donation. 100% of the proceeds goes towards Big City Mountaineers. We're not keeping a penny of it. We're funding the John Muir Trail hike all on our own. These guys make a huge difference in the world, and they care about these kids. So it's definitely a great cause. We've already had a couple donations. We just want to keep the ball rolling. I set a goal for $10,000. The minimum donation is $10. If you guys want to donate more than that, heck yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Stay tuned because there's a video that I'm going to post with a bunch of gear in a, in a big gear raffle. So I'm going to raffle this stuff off. It's going to be well over $1,000 worth of gear. So each ticket's going to be 100 bucks. You're going to have five tickets for 400 and it's going to be, as I said, well over $1,000 worth of uh, camping and backpacking gear. So stay tuned for a video on that. So thanks again for tuning in to my latest video. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.